So you're looking at scripts more than just uh, as an actor would, like more than just the character, because you're coming from it from a director's perspective, and it even sounds like you're coming at it from a producer's perspective as yeah, well. Is I'm that doing, right? I'm doing more of that now. Yeah, I started directing back on back on Hercules, actually. Just uh, oh, really? Yeah. I, that's right. I've been I've been DJ now for 25 years. Been SAG for 35 years now. So um, I loved uh, I loved the series down there. I missed New Zealand. It was fantastic. It was a great chapter in my life. I worked with wonderful people. Yeah. Um, Peter Jackson ended up taking most of my crew for Lord of the Rings. Is that right? Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, John Mahaffey went on to direct a lot of Second Unit. I think the most recent one he did was Aquaman, but he did Second Unit Spider Man and Wow. Uh, James Bond and all that. Uh, Peter McCaffrey was. The number he's ranked in the like top two uh, steady cam operators in the world. Nyla Dixon, our wardrobe, won an Academy Award for Lord of the Rings. I mean, we had a great talent pool down there in Little New Zealand. Yeah, it sounds like it was a big launching pad for a lot of big oh, no, careers. No question. They had yeah. nothing like that before we came down. And we had two spin off shows. We spun off my uh, series Xena in season three and Young yep. Hercules in season five. Yeah. I don't, a lot of people don't remember who played that role because it only lasted two seasons. You uh, know what it was? No, man, you've got me. Who played Hercules? Me. As yeah. a teenager, a little skinny, scrawny 20 year old named Ryan Gosling. Oh, <laughs> how about that? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I would not have caught that. Oh, that's fantastic. Pretty funny. Uh, well, you know, I always think about Hercules and I think about um, the, 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 um, the, the character traits you brought to him. He was very relatable. You know, here he was the god. And, but like, even with the first kind of scene where you seem where you like knocks out a giant or something like that. And then you have this kind of wit about you and you embody that character. And I can see how like sitting down and writing that you're hoping that the talent nails it, but you got it. And you brought that, that kind of charisma to the character, but still keeping him grounded. And that's not an easy thing to do, but you're able to kind of uh, encompass that in, in, in your, in the roles that you take on. I think it's fantastic. Well, thank you. I mean, the biggest input I think I had, we had five two-hour movies before it became one-hour series. So we shot, uh, like, it was a full year for the five movies. Yeah. And uh, I think there were 10-week shoots for all of them. And uh, uh, Anthony Quinn played Zeus. So I got all yeah. year working with a class like Anthony Quinn. Yeah. But the very yeah. first movie, Hercules and the Amazon Women, there was a, uh, there was a little bit of, uh, it just, to me, it just played almost too too real, I don't want to say too, I can't think of the word I want to say, but I, I called up uh, Sam Raimi, who was our exec producer. Right. And I said, Sam, you know if you're known for your campiness, you're known for your humor. I love humor, I'm a smart yeah. ass, I got three brothers, so I grew up all being sarcastic with each other. Right. And my buddies back home in Minnesota. So I said, uh, I said the biggest thing is, we don't want people to laugh at us, we want people to laugh with, with us. us. And I think yeah. that was something that Fans loved about the show because I get it every Comic Con I go to, I'm signing autographs. I get people saying, You guys look like you had so much fun doing that show, and we did. And I really yeah. wish at that time, before all the reality TV kicked in, that we filmed all the behind the scenes stuff, like all the rehearsals and all that, and let fans just release that as a DVD. People would have got a kick out of our rehearsals and a kick how funny my crew was. We had laughs yeah. every day, you know, and I know sometimes it seems time to go so slow and it goes so fast. Well, those seven years just flew by and it was an amazing wow. chapter in my life like i said and i had just so much fun doing that and i think that makes all the difference in the world is when you were able to have fun with it and i love the fact that they wrote drop dramatic episodes and drop yep. dramatic moments they did but they they always put in good humor the fight scenes were always really well choreographed i mean our stunt guys one of them started as a 19 year old stunt guy ben cook and now he he's daniel craig's body double stunts and all of the james bond movies that's amazing but it's just it was so much fun. And Peter Bell, who was a stunt choreographer, would let me, because we rehearsed fights every day. We shot three fights every episode, but the wow. other seven days, we're on set, we're rehearsing off the camera, even though right. it's not, I'm with all the stunt guys. And then I got to run and do a heavy romantic scene, then run back out and do another <laughs> rehearsal. But um, I, I love the fact that I say, Peter, he'd show me, okay, and you're going to kick this guy's sword and it's going to go flying. I go, hey, how about the meter and he landed in the cowboy you do a second unit shot of the sword going through the air as he's getting back up again and it hits him and knocks him back in the cow pie you're going yeah. yeah so that became sort of a normal thing to con constantly make funny things out of the fight scenes too so awesome
No, it's good. Yeah, I love the balance of comedy and action and drama. And I think that's really, I mean, I think that's the 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 good formula to keep an audience engaged, especially in a script. Scripts, yeah. if they're one tone, they get really boring. You get, you don't want to read it anymore. If you kind of keep investing in different types of conflict like that. You, you know, you got something good. When the year, when it's our season three, we released Xena at the same time. Uh, another female show came out called Sheena and Conan and Robin Hood and Tarzan and Sinbad. All these yep. shows tried to copy what we had going. But, yeah. uh, but we passed Baywatch that same year in season three as the most watched show in the world in 176 and, countries. And, and that that's crazy because Baywatch was huge. I mean, everybody Very watched cool. that well, show. You know what? We had a lot of cleavage in my show too. <laughs> <laughs> we, had lot, we, had of, no, we had a lot of cleavage in the show too. Yeah. We call it Baywatch BC. <laughs> <laughs> People are watching it for the storylines. I direct, I go quick. I, yeah. I, I walk up to first time directors, like new directors, I think you got to work 14 hour days. Mm -hmm. And I'll whisper in the ear, you know, say, you know, Clint Eastwood does Academy Award winning movies and he shoots eight hour days. Just saying. You yeah. Know, so. and, and were you pulling in like 14 hour days when you're on shows? Like on Hercules, Batman? yeah. On Hercules, Hercules yeah. Was, was 12 to 14 every day for me. Then another hour and a half lifting weights. Wow. A very typical day door to door for me was anywhere from 16 to 18 hours a day. Yeah. But um, I don't like, if I flub or anybody flubs, I don't want to cut. I okay. Just, I just say, go back, go back, go, boom, and then kick right yeah. back into it. Keep Editing will it. take care of that because a lot of times when you cut, then the DP comes in and goes, oh, I got to relight a little bit. Then 15 Oh, minutes, no. Yeah. To me, you lose that spontaneity and that energy. So yeah. um, every time I screw up a line, I'll just say, I got I got just back up, back up, back up. But then I'll just get back to the one, what first position is come walking in again. Yep. You know, just, just run it, just it run just, it again. It, to me, it just keeps energy going much better than cutting down. And then everybody just goes to the craft service and eats more crap. <laughs> For free. Yeah. yeah, that's the best part. I'm, I'm good at looking at each scene and, and pointing out what, okay, this is what's missing or this is what needs to be taken out. Um, as opposed to some people just look at the whole script and say, one, two, three. I'm more of a microscopic guy. Yeah, you kind and, of uh, zone in on I'm, I'm very good. I know, no, you know, you rarely shoot anything in order, but I'm very good at making notes. I need, I need the script. I don't mind reading the first draft off a computer. Right. But I need the script. I need to make notes. I need to write things. Because when I go in and do a scene, I'll look at the previous scene that I may have shot 10 days ago and go, boom, this is where my mindset is right now. You know, yeah. get the real actor thing. Um, if I'm, you know, because most scenes for an actor are really broken down into two, two categories. It's either a power scene or a love scene. Interesting. Um, uh, you know, a love scene can be, you know, you're, you're just trying to get something from somebody. But a power scene is a whole, to me, is just a whole different play. And uh, it's about taking control. Thank you.